I suggested last night that until the election, we could very easily wind up doing a special comment here every show. It was in turn suggested to me that while events may warrant them, this would certainly render that word special, for two weeks anyway, inoperative. Good point. So tonight, as promised, a campaign comment on the continuing adventures of Governor Sarah Palin in the big leagues. Or are you smarter than a third grader? Finally, Governor, we've been trying to engage some local grade schoolers for the last few elections. We do a feature Good. called Questions from the Third Grade. Good. Brandon Garcia wants to know, what does the vice president do? Oh, that's something the Piper would ask me as a second grader also. Uh, that's a great question, Brandon, and a vice president has a really great job because not only are they there to support the president's agenda, they're like the team member, the teammate to that president, but also they're in charge of the United States Senate. So if they want to, they can really get in there with the senators and make a lot of good policy changes that will make life better for Brandon and his family and his class room and it's a great job and I look forward to having that job. Oh, I'm so sorry, Governor. The correct answer can be found in the Constitution of the United States. Article 1, Section 3, the Vice President of the United States shall be President of the Senate, but shall have no vote unless they be equally divided. So the Vice President is not in charge of Jack, Governor, let alone in charge of the Senate. And you are not smarter than a third grader. On the one level, it is hilarious and entertaining that the Republican nominee cannot correctly answer the question, what does the vice president do? I mean, that first reference to the vice president comes not 600 words into the Constitution. And the other meaty references are pretty simple to remember. Article 2, Section 1, in case of the removal of the president from office or of his death, resignation, or inability to discharge the powers and duties of said office, the same shall devolve on the vice president. There's also the 20th Amendment, you're done on January 20th, and the 25th Amendment, if the president's incapacitated, you're the acting prez. It's so simple, really. One could memorize those four points pretty easily. Wouldn't take long. Brandon and Garcia could do it in the third grade, probably. So on the one level, this is pretty damn silly. The Sarah Palin material, as Tina Fey might be able to say, just writes itself. As it does, it makes stupid mistakes, but it still writes itself. Except there are two very serious aspects to this. Governor, do you really think you'd be in charge of the United States Senate? Do you really want to suggest that you think if you want to, you can really get in there with the senators and make a lot of good policy changes? We're just wrapping up eight years of a vice president who had no clue what his damned job consisted of, couldn't even correctly find his governmental branch with both hands. The last thing anybody in this country wants, Republican or Democrat, is another buccaneer in there making it up as they go along. And in your case, presuming you can stride into the Senate and change policy if you want to. Besides which, Governor, exactly how on earth could you not have the correct answer by now? It's not like this is the first time you've been asked about the vice presidency and gone all Miss South Carolina on us.